Hey guys, I'm Jane Dupree and today I'm going to show you three different types of bank shots that will be really helpful to have in your arsenal, especially if you play games like Banks by the Rail or Regular Bank Pool. Maybe some one pocket shots in there, but these banks will really help you get out of some sticky situations sometimes. So let's go ahead and waste no time and jump right in with the three rail reverse bank shot. All right, so the three rail reverse bank, that's a pretty daunting name, isn't it? So let's just imagine that we're playing eight ball. Our opponent is stripes and they have sadly blocks our side pocket for our eight ball. Or let's just say we're playing banks by the rail. We want to make some extra money. Um, but what we're going to do is we are going to find a way to bank this eight ball here. Now you can't go one rail. You can't go two rails down here. I mean, theoretically, maybe you could, uh, but it's really not a high percentage going this way. But this three rail reverse shot, once you get it down, ends up being a pretty high percentage shot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to get the eight ball to come off this rail, this rail, and then reverse back this way, and then into this side pocket. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna aim for our eight ball about here, about a ball's length away from this side pocket. It varies based upon where the eight ball's at, but if we're just straight in on the side, we're gonna aim about a ball away from the pocket, about right here. And we're gonna load this cue ball up with some left hand spin. Now, whatever spin you put on the cue ball, the opposite spin goes to the object ball. So when we put left spin on this cue ball, we're actually loading up this eight ball with right spin. So it's gonna have some reverse English off of this rail. So fling it back to the right. It's a good way to remember it. Whatever direction you want it to fling it back, use the opposite spin. So we want this eight ball to come back to the right. So we're gonna put left on it. We're gonna aim for about here, about a ball away from that pocket. And you do have to hit this shot pretty hard. So a little low English also helps just get that English in there. Uh, but low left, aim for about here. Hit it hard, and you should be able to three row reverse bank this shot in. So let's see it. All right, so let's move on to the three railer into the side. So I always find that the best angle to shoot this shot at is when you are just off from being able to bank this ball into this corner pocket without the kiss. So it's a great shot to pull out whenever you don't quite think that you can hold the ball to go into this pocket. So how are we going to shoot this? Goal is to go one, two, three, and into the side. Now remember what I told you about the three rail reverse shot. Whatever spin you put on the cue ball, the opposite goes onto the object ball. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit this naturally. We want this ball to come off somewhere in this area. We want to go here and then to somewhere in this area below this first diamond. Again, it really depends on where this ball is, so you're gonna have to shoot this shot yourself and kind of help yourself figure it out. But if we're just a little bit off center, we want our cue ball to hit somewhere down here. And I'm going to load this up with some top left spin. So top left spin, because we want this ball to have right spin when it's coming off of this rail, because we want it to spin out to the right. From the ball's perspective, to the right. So load it up the top left, hit it pretty full, make sure that ball is spinning off this rail. We want it to contact somewhere down around here, off of here, and then basically spin itself into the pocket. So you're gonna have to give it a couple tries on your own to really dial this one in, but let's see how it's supposed to look. So for our last shot, we have the big money maker if you're into playing banks by the rail, the four railer. So idea of this shot is to hit the eight into this short rail, have it go short rail, long rail, short rail, long rail, and then back into this corner. Now there are a couple of systems to shooting this, but the one that I like to use is parallel shifting. Uh, also, when you're using banking systems, don't expect them to work 100% of the time. There is a little bit of tweaking that has to be done uh, depending on the conditions of the table, the rails, what kind of table you're playing on. There's lots and lots of variables in pool. 
So whenever you learn a system, never expect it to work 100% of the time. Some shots you just kind of have to rely on feel. Now a good system that I sometimes use is drawing a line from corner pocket to corner pocket with your cue and then parallel shifting it to your cue ball to find your aiming point. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a couple of new shots. Your biggest takeaway from this video should be the fact that whatever spin you're putting on the cue ball, the opposite spin is transferred to the object ball. It's a really big point in the game of pool, especially banks. Sometimes people don't know why their bank is going too short all the time or going too wide all the time. Maybe it's not a problem with the aiming, but it's a problem with spin that you're putting on the ball. And then once you learn that and you're able to use that to your advantage, when you need those banks to go a little wide or you need those banks to shorten up, that type of spin can help you do it. So I hope you guys learned something. If you did, leave a like on the video down below. It helps me, it helps the channel. Leave a comment if you wanna see more content like this and consider subscribing to the channel if you want to. And I will see you guys in the next video.